you look all right. Thanks for coming. I know how you uh, hate prisons. Too many close calls. Diane's working on your transfer. At least I can have visitors, right? You asked to see me? You're always my first call. I can tell this is not about business. Have you been keeping an eye on Jake? Hmm. You again. Don't we see enough of each other at work? Well, work's not over. The network wants you to make an appearance at a cocktail party for charity tonight at the Metro Court. What's in it for them? Eli Love is going to be there, so there'll be a lot of press. They'll get to see the warm and fuzzy side of Samantha McCall. The car will pick you up in an hour. Hmm. You go be warm and fuzzy. That I'd like to see. I'm busy. Yeah. So I see. Looks like Jason couldn't kick you out of here quick enough. Elizabeth says that Jake is doing great, but she could just be trying not to worry me, you know? My guys are watching them. They seem fine. Wait, is, there, is there anything else at all? Spencer's went to the park yesterday. Elizabeth, love you, the kids. Right? Sam showed up. Did she, did she talk to them? She talked to them for a few minutes, and she left. My guy said there was some tense stuff going on. Should I be concerned here? Sam and I broke it off yesterday. She pretty much blames me for everything and she blames Elizabeth and I'm just worried that she is going to get angry enough to tell Lucky that Jake is my son. Well, uh, Jason, at this point, that doesn't seem like such a bad idea. Jason did not ask me to leave. I broke up with him and when he gets home, I don't want to be here. Yeah, you broke up with him because you knew he was about to dump you. No, I made a choice, which means your big plan for revenge fell flat on its face. Thanks to you, I can live on my own very nicely. You're welcome. That must really drive you nuts, huh? You think I murdered your sicko dad for the money, and now you sign my very generous paycheck. It's always about the money for you, isn't it? You're still the gold digger my father married. Well, how uncharacteristically kind of you to leave here without a fuss. It'll make things so much easier for Jason to have Elizabeth and her kids move in with him. <laughs> Elizabeth won't be moving anywhere. And that relationship will never see the light of day. Please don't sit here and list all the reasons I should claim my son. I think about them every day. The bottom line is Jake is safer if nobody knows he's mine. Yeah, but you can understand. More, more and more people are finding out about this. Nobody else like needs to find out. Secret. Nobody needs to find out. All that matters is Jake is home and he's safe from my enemies. And you don't think a police officer makes his own enemies? No, I think our families are always a target. The cops' families aren't. And at least Jake won't have to grow up with his father in prison. Okay, you know what? I'm going to back you no matter what. And you know what, you've been in prison, that's my business. You don't get to talk like you've already lost your case. Oh, you know something I don't? Diane's working on getting you released. If you're not gonna help, why don't you just get the hell out? No, I, I just wonder why you seem so sure about Jason and Elizabeth. He clearly adores his little boy, and it's no secret he thinks Jake's mommy's pretty special. Jake's mommy is a coward. She can't handle the danger that comes when you live with Jason. Can't be any less dangerous than being married to a cop. Jason thinks so. And besides, she's got two kids to worry about now, and then there is her prissy reputation. If she admits the truth about Jake, then she'd be outed as the lying, cheating slut that she is so no i don't think she's going to admit the truth about sleeping with jason and i don't think jason's ever going to claim his son because he thinks that he's safer this way and jason's willing to give up a little boy that means everything to him my heart would be breaking if i weren't so angry Thanks to Rick's arrogance, we've learned what evidence he has against you. Yeah, Diane told me it's a, it's a digital recording of, of me saying Alcazar's name. Yeah, you hear a gun firing with a silencer, right? And then you hear like a body, what sounds like a body hitting the ground. Mm -hmm. There's no body, no witnesses. That's not going to change, is it? No, it's not. 
okay, Diane's working really hard on, you know, trying to show how easy it is to duplicate the sounds. And we'll have reasonable doubt to spare. Rick is blowing smoke, yeah, as he always does, so you can't lose hope know, here. You know what? We've been lucky against Rick. One of these days, luck is going to run out. But whatever happens, it's not going to change my life. What are you talking about? I don't... I don't regret working for you. I never will. I chose this life and the business I'm in. But I am paying the price. Because whether I'm in prison or not, I'm never going to have my son. possibly can be but he worked the program which is great unless you don't want me to come visit you doesn't matter what i want yes it does you're in here because you rescued our son and the last thing i want you to feel is that i've abandoned you how is jake he's great i'm glad she's in his pictures Every day. Sometimes I think people must be able to tell that he's yours. Keep them, they're for you. Does it help for me to come see you and talk about Jake, or would it just be? Easier if I pretend like this whole thing never happened. I don't know. I mean, I could... I can be in prison for years. It's probably not a good idea for you and your family if you keep coming to see me. I pray that you'll walk out of here a free man. And I wish that you could be a part of Jake's life. I don't, I don't think Lucky's going to be real comfortable with that. When you agreed for me and Lucky to raise your son, you said that it would be easier for you to just stay away, that it would be too hard to spend time with Jake. I've realized that it would... it would kill me to try to pretend he's nothing to me. Just this much of Jake is um, it's better than nothing. Hey, I thought you were gonna be my driver. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can see this is a bad time. No, no, come on in. Come on. What's going on? Well, I just I wanted to talk to you about what happened at the park yesterday. Yeah, you know what? About that, um, the park. <clears throat> I owe you an apology. You and your children did not deserve to hear my rant. Yeah. Well, what about Elizabeth? Look, I was upset about breaking up with Jason, and I completely took it out on the wrong people. You called my wife a liar. I have problems. I just want to know with why. With your wife, okay? Why? I'll tell you why. I resent her. I resent the fact that whenever she needs to be rescued, she goes to Jason and she somehow manages to put him into a position to choose and I always wind up with the short end of the stick. Which is why I'm here. I want to clear things up. Elizabeth told me point blank that she doesn't love Jason. But what I want to know, does Jason love her? Sonny told me that you... You saw Sam in the park. Yeah, I did. She's deeply hurt over losing you, and she's being irrational. What'd she, what'd she say? 
Uh, it was... It was mostly name-calling, but it was pretty bad. It's like she doesn't care what she says or does, and I'm afraid that she wants to hurt you back. If Rick puts her on the stands, then she might say something she shouldn't. And that's gonna put you in serious trouble. <laughs>